The agency or freelancer guest role lets you join your client's workspace, so you can have full design access to update and maintain your client's sites as needed. No transferring sites back and forth, no sharing Webflow passwords. You can just make whatever changes you need to make for your client. In this lesson, we're going to show how to transfer a site to our client's workspace. We'll then show how that client can invite us, as an agency or a freelancer, to their workspace, to the client's workspace. And then finally, we'll go through how we can access their workspace as a guest. Part one, transfer the site. By the way, in this example, I built my client's website in my workspace, and now I'm ready to transfer it to their workspace. Once I do, they can invite me as a guest, and I can continue to work on it. Let's find the site I want to transfer, which we only have to do one time, and we'll go over and open up our site settings. All we have to do is go over and transfer. Now remember, once you transfer a site, you will no longer have access to it on your workspace. Let's type our client's email address. Check it for accuracy. And then transfer. So what happens now? Well, if your client has a Webflow account, then once they accept the transfer, that site will now be in their workspace. And if they don't have a workspace account, they'll be able to create one, and the site will be in their workspace once they do. That's transferring. Next, we'll need our client to invite us to their workspace as a guest. Now, I'll show exactly how it looks on the client side. To be really clear, this is not what the agency or freelancer will see. This is what my client will see. We also included a separate video, which you can share directly with your client that shows exactly how to do this. OK, what does our client need to do? Our client will go into their Webflow dashboard. Oh, look, there's the site I just transferred to my client. If they don't have a Webflow account, they'll need to create one. But from the dashboard, they'll go to Workspace Settings. And over in Members, they'll have the option, we can see it right here, to invite an agency or freelancer guest. They'll type your email as the agency or freelancer being invited as a guest and invite. That's how your client can invite you to their workspace as a guest. Part three, let's finish this and get into our client's workspace. And by the way, I'm switching my demo back to being the agency or freelancer. So first, you're in your dashboard. You'll see a message here at the top of your workspace page. But just in case, you'll also receive an invitation email. What is our goal? Our goal is to press View Invitation in our dashboard. And we can just accept. And you know what? I'm now a guest in my client's workspace. So what does that mean? Here, I'll have full design access to all the sites and all the folders in my client's workspace. Same with integrations and templates and the editor. I can update DNS settings or do whatever I need to do. But I won't have access to any of their sensitive workspace account settings like billing or workspace member management. So let's recap. You can be a guest in your client's Webflow workspace by transferring the site to them and then having them invite you as a guest. Once you receive that invitation, you can accept it, and now you have access to that workspace. So you can make whatever updates or changes you need to. And that's agency or freelancer guest in Webflow.